What's going on YouTube? It's Got the Night here coming at you with yet another video and today's video is all about how AMD is uh, putting its new APU in the PS5 and Xbox One or next gen Xbox. I have covered this a little bit on about how people are going to uh, argue about the um, Zen Plus or Zen 2 whatever is going to go in there but we all knew it was going to be an 8 core processor. Uh, this does this article also says Navi. Uh, some of the rumors are saying Navi 10, which I'll get to in a little bit. But let's get into this. Um, so the base frequency of this system is supposedly going to be uh, 1.6 gigahertz with a max turbo clock as high as 3.2. Hell, even if uh, that system had 1.6 gigahertz, to be completely honest, even though it shouldn't, um, it's still a lot better than the 2.3 gigahertz Kabini processor in the Xbox One X, uh, even at 1.6 gigahertz. Now, granted, we need faster CPU than that for the 60 FPS, so that's why it can turbo up to 3.2, and the nice part about it uh, being based off the 7 nanometer process, we should still get some relatively small consoles as well, which is also going to be really nice. Uh, you can use similar... Um, uh, fans or heat sinks that are in the current Xbox and PS4 and get even better uh, temperatures and increase the clock speed, which is really nice. Uh, not only that, like I said, it is looking to that they're going to have a Navi 10. Now, if you guys don't know uh, any of the rumors about the Navi 10, I'm going to go ahead up in the right hand corner, leave a link to one of my videos explaining a little bit more about it. But the Navi 10... Uh, is supposedly going to be just as fast as a GTX 1080. And that going into a console is really good, guys. Because uh, just look at the Xbox One X, for an example. The uh, GPU in that, if I remember correctly, is on par desktop-wise with an RX 580. But the nice part about it, since it's in a pre-built uh, piece of equipment like that, and no matter what uh, person buys an Xbox One X, all the hardware configuration is going to be the same. That is why they're able to take that GPU that is similar performance to that RX 580 and get far better performance or visuals and resolution out of it versus a desktop version. So even though Navi 10 is going to have uh, similar specs to a GTX 1080, I'm going to suspect that it's actually going to perform a lot better than a GTX 1080. We still don't know how much RAM is going to be in these systems. There are speculations all the way up to 16 gigabytes, which I can see that. Some say that the CPU is going to have its own memory bank, while the GPU has its own memory bank. But with an APU, I'm going to go on a limb and say I doubt it. It's going to be pooled memory. So saying 16 gigabytes is probably going to be pretty good but again that's going to be all based off speculation um and the nice part about it um is hitting 4k at 60 fps is should be better now um because as i've stated in an old old video of mine if uh nvidia or microsoft put a better cpu in the xbox one x i understand why they didn't for cost purposes and probably backwards compatibility with the xbox one and one s but that was what was hindering it from hitting higher frame rates uh, at 4K in a lot of games, like for an example, um, Forza Horizon and stuff like that, where it's 30 FPS because the limitation on the CPU and uh, vice versa. Uh, the GPU is plenty powerful, it's just the CPU is a giant bottleneck for it. So what do you guys think down in the comments below? Are you excited? for this new APU and Navi 10 in possibly both systems. Um, again, we're not 100% sure what type of GPU is gonna be in the PS5. Uh, so far, the only rumors I have seen are for the next gen Xbox with Navi 10. And if that is true, Microsoft, do have one hell of a powerful system on you? And PlayStation, you better watch out. Um, both of you just come out with great games, run a 4K, 60 FPS. I'm pretty sure you'll make the gaming uh, community very happy, guys. So I want to know what you guys think hardware-wise. What do you think is going to be in the next-gen consoles? So make sure you like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you dislike it, guys. Subscribe if you're new. So this is Gut the Night, guys. Signing out.